If you are a 3D UX UI or graphic designer and want to add 3D icons, illustrations, animations or other 3D elements in your design and your system is not able to run any 3D modeling heavy software, this all is possible in a tool called Pixcape. Pixcape is a web-based 3D design application that you can access from anywhere in the world at your convenience as long as you have a stable internet connection. Nothing to download, nothing to install. In Pixcape, you can access ready-made 3D templates and assets which you can edit according to your design theme. You can change colors, camera perspective, lights, shadows, can animate your models and export them as images, GIF or video as well as can export your project to the other 3D software and can edit there also. You can join Pixcap Instagram and Discord communities of designers where you can showcase your design and take inspiration from other people's design as well. So I have already designed this hero section and these prototypes in Figma. Actually this video is about Pixcap, so I'm not going to design this hero section from scratch. If you want a separate video on this, let me know in the comment section. So I need a 3D rocket animation above this loading circle. I want to make something like to launch a rocket into space. For this, I will use Pixcap. Once you create an account, you will see a dashboard of your project like this. So I'm going to create a project and we'll rename it as loading anim. So you can see this is the interface of this tool that we can work in. And I'm not going to teach you these tools one by one. In this video, I'm just quickly showing how powerful this app is. But if you want a detailed video about this app, let me know in the comment box. I will definitely try to make a video on this. If you go to the library, you will see thousands of 3D models listed here. Similarly, you can see scenes in the next step. Some of them are animated scenes that you can use in your project. And there are some different characters in the list which you can use and also you can apply some movement or animation to those characters. But this time, I need a rocket, so I will search for that. Here is the result for the rockets, and I like this one. If you click on this, it will import the object to the canvas. If you want to see the object from different angles, press Alt and drag the cursor so you will be able to see around the object. If you double click on an object, you can access different mesh layers. You can also move the object by dragging these arrows. For rotating objects, you can select this rotation tool so you can rotate in this way. You can also scale the object by using that scale tool. Now I want to change the color of my rocket. If we click on this object, we will be able to see a panel for colors on the right. Click on these three dots, edit and we change the color to match our design theme. But our object is too rough. I want to make it a little shiny. For that, I will add metallic in the layer list. Here, I don't want to change metallic intensity, but will reduce the roughness a little. That's perfect. Similarly, we will change the color for these other elements. looks good. It's time to set the camera because we are creating a scene and want to see that scene from a specific direction. For that we will add a camera. So I will set the angle first. In the rotation tab x-axis should be 0 and y-axis should be minus 180. So you can move the camera by dragging these arrows. Here in the bottom left corner, you can see the preview of that camera. That you can set the object on the front of that camera like this. If you want to see the camera view, click on this switch to camera. Now I want to set the direction of this rocket a little. That's great. Now we need to work on lighting. First, we will change the light to environment map so you can see the difference. Then we will add a light but point light. 
Actually, this light provides light in all directions. I will move this light to the left and will set the direction. And will increase the intensity and radius of this light about that much. We can also change the color of that light. So I would like the color of our light to be blue. Now I want to add two more lights, one on the right and one on the front of the object. It's done. Now we will animate this rocket. Want to make something like to launch this rocket into space. So I will uncheck this auto key because I don't want to add automatic keyframes there. Then I will select the rocket and will open the graph editor. If you press the S key on the keyboard, it will add a keyframe on the timeline. For more smooth animation, we will increase the FPS or frame per second to 30. Then you will jump to the end of the timeline to click on this icon here it is so at this point our rocket will have been launched to space we will press s again to create a keyframe here also then i will select position y to add a little bit of easing in that vertical movement for that i will drag these holders like this So if you check the rocket animation, we can also check this without a camera view. Right. Okay, now I want to add some smoke underneath that rocket when it flies. For that, I'll add a sphere and we'll move it down and we'll decrease the size a little. We will rename it as smoke. Switch to camera. I will hide this light for now and will create a copy of this sphere. Now we will animate the smoke sphere. I will again open the graph editor. So at this point, the sphere should be scaled at zero. We'll drop a keyframe right here by pressing the S key. At this point, we will scale this object to 0 0.3 and will drop a keyframe. Then we will move a little forward and will make it again zero and will add a keyframe again. So if we check this you can see the object is animated. Similarly we will do the same for the second one and for all the spheres and we'll make a smoke from them. So here is the final result. If you start the animation, we have created a great animation for our loading page. Now it's time to export this animation. We can export it as a video, image or GIF and we can also export this animation to another 3D software like Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D etc. by exporting as GLB or FBX. But this time we can export it in GIF for Figma. The height should also be 1920. 
I will reduce the frame drop percentage to 0 and will keep the background transparent. Hit that export button. It will take a few seconds for the rendering. So they are processing our GIF. Download it. I will drag it to my folder and then I will drag it to the Figma project. So we will set the size and we'll make it align to the center of that loading progress circle. Like that. Now it's time to check in the preview how it's looking in our prototype. It's looking really nice. So I was really surprised when I explored this amazing tool and their libraries. I highly recommend Pixcap before starting your next project. The link is given in the description. Pixcap provides a 30 days free trial to access free and paid 3D templates and assets that you can use. If you think you like these assets and want to subscribe to their pro plan, I have also put the 20% discount code in the description for you. So that was a quick overview of Pixcap. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.